Hello, Willard Wildcats. We've been thinking about vibrations and how vibrations make sound. And last time I made a video, we were thinking about how instruments make sound. And there's three different ways that instruments can make sound. One is you hit the instrument, like you hit a drum, and the hitting it makes vibrations and those vibrations make sound. Another way is to blow air through an instrument, like a clarinet or a trumpet, and the air vibrating makes sound. Or you can have an instrument with strings, like a guitar or a violin. And when those strings vibrate, then they make sound. But what about a piano? When you play a piano, it looks like people are hitting the keys. Does that mean that the instrument is making music because you're hitting it? Well, the thing about a piano is that it's like a big box. You can't see what's inside. So today, I thought it would be interesting if we open up this piano and then we can see what's inside and we can see what's making the vibrations. So today, we're opening up this piano that's in my house. If you have a piano in your house and you're curious about what's inside, make sure you talk to your grown-ups before you try opening anything. Make sure you have permission. And it's very possible that your grown-ups might not give you permission but that's okay, because we're going to look at mine. So the top of this piano opens up right here. And when you open it up, you can see there's all these bits of metal here. The next thing you do is this whole piece here, this comes off. And now you can see what's inside. If you know what these are, then you probably can tell right now how a piano makes sound. When you look inside a piano, there's all these pieces of wood, and then there's all these wires. So if you look here, these are some wires that have sort of an orangey coppery color. And these are wires that have silvery colors. And then there's these, these are covered in felt. They're pieces of wood with felt on top. And down here are the keys. So I'm going to play a couple of keys and we're going to see what happens inside. So when I push down on a key, It causes a piece of wood down there that's attached to the key to move, and that makes that move. And when I let go, there's a little piece inside that goes back on the string. These pieces inside here, as long as they're on the string, the strings aren't going to make much sound. When I push down on the key, this part down here, these are called hammers. The hammer hits these little wires, these pieces of metal. And when the wires are hit, they make sound. When I let go of the key, this part goes back onto the wire and makes it stop vibrating. So, a piano contains all of these wires. It contains all of these strings. A piano makes music when you vibrate the strings. Now some of the wires are very, very thick. Look, these wires, and they get thicker and thicker and thicker. When these notes play, the very thickest wires, those are the lowest notes that are being played. At the other end of the piano, there's these silver wires, and they're thin, and they get thinner and thinner and thinner. The thinnest wires are up at this end of the piano. The highest notes are made by the thinnest wires. Now one thing we cannot see from this view of the piano 
is that these wires up here that are very thin are also very short. If you look down here, you can just see where the wires end. You can see right down in here, the wires don't go much farther than that. And then these wires down at the other end, they are very long. They are so long, they stretch all the way down to the floor. I'm gonna play some of the notes, some of the keys on the piano, and let's see what happens as I play. I thought you might enjoy seeing what it looks like inside the piano while someone's playing it. So here's my son Theodore, he's going to play a song for us. Now you know. A piano makes music not because you're hitting the keys and not because air is vibrating through it, but because the strings inside are vibrating. Mystery solved. I'll see you next time.